Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am so excited to bring you a skincare review. I Do Care was kind enough to send me three different face masks to try out and you guys, like I have been testing this out for a little while and I definitely have some good thoughts for you guys. So the ones that they sent me are the I Do Care Sugar Kitten Mask. This is the Hydrating Rose Water Peel Off Mask. Um, the I Do Care Disco Kitten Illuminating Diamond Peel Off Mask and the I Do Care Space Kitten Exfoliating Charcoal Peel Off Mask. And this one is for your T-Zone. Now each one of these are $23. You can actually find these at Ulta. So yeah, that's actually really exciting because everybody that I know, or at least me personally, for sure, loves Ulta. I love the reward system. So I love the fact that that is that it is at Ulta. And now that Ulta is actually in some targets, it makes it a little bit more easier um, for us to <laughs> find what we need. All right, so I'm gonna go run through each one real fast and I'm gonna let you know what each one does. So let's start with the, uh, the Sugar Kitten Mask. This one says it is a hydrating peel off mask to help reveal a brighter complexion. Ingredients include ruby powder to give dry skin a dewy glow. So it's supposed to brighten dry skin, soothe and calm skin. Uh, the key ingredients are ruby powder, that's supposed to, that one's supposed to brighten the dull skin, rose water hyaluronic acid which boosts elasticity and calms irritation, violet eggplant fruit extract soothes and improves skin barrier, and then it's supposed to be formulated without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. I can't say that word. I'm so sorry. You guys know when it comes to the big words, I just, I can't. So when I tested this one out, I actually used this one and the charcoal one at the same exact time. This is a whole entire face mask. You can do your whole face with it. Um, but I decided to break it up a little bit and try it with the charcoal uh, mask because this one's supposed to go on your T-zone. Uh, the first thing I have to say about this is this is probably one of my favorite of the three because of the results. When it says that it's smooth skin, like that is no freaking joke, okay? I have very, 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 very rough patches right here on my freaking chin. Like it is a desert. You know, in a desert, you think of the, the ground being dry and cracked and like different shapes because it's so dry. I swear that is how I feel this is sometimes. And especially when I'm wearing foundation, I can see it. It's just bad, okay? After my very first use of this, I cannot believe how smooth my skin was. Um, like right away, this right here felt absolutely incredible. I was in awe about how smooth it was because I've never had a product or face mask do what this one did. I've tried a lot of, a lot of different ones. I usually stick with the, um, the sheet masks. No big deal. I feel like it hydrates my skin, maybe plumps them, but it never really smooths my skin. And that's exactly what this one did. Um, I definitely want to continue using this because I want to see how long the effect goes for, but it was an instant effect for me personally. Um, now, this one's actually really cool because inside it kind of looks green, if you can see that right there. <laughs> Oop, don't want to lose any. But going on, it has like this purple iridescent uh, look to it. So that was really fun. And then, of course, the charcoal mask. It's black. It has glitter inside. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Probably not. Um, but this was a really nice uh, mask, especially for my nose. It definitely helped with the pores around my nose and the pores I had right here. So let's go over the effects for the charcoal mask. So it says that the I Do Space Kitten Exfoliating Charcoal Mask helps exfoliate whiteheads and brightens the skin. So it's supposed to exfoliate the T-zone, easy to use. The key ingredients are sapphire powder, sapphire, sapphire powder, powder, that sorry, uh, brightens and exfoliates the skin. The charcoal volcanic ash absorbs sebum impurities and whiteheads. Uh, the moringa seed oil purifies and provides a barrier against environmental stressors. And once again, it's supposed to be without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. I really like how my nose looked afterwards because I do have a big problem when it comes to pores right here. 
and just not being comfortable. But actually, as soon as I took off the charcoal mask, I looked at my nose right away and I, I kid you not, I kid you not, I could tell the difference. So those are probably my top two. Now the last one is still a good one, but when it comes to the benefits, um, I definitely see more for my skin type with these two. So the last one that they sent me was the Disco Kitten Illuminating Diamond Peel Off Mask. This is such a fun mask. I love that it's like pearly white. It is so freaking pretty. Um, I've never actually said before that it's a pretty mask, but it actually really, really is. It's, it's really fun to do. Um, and I would say that this one actually has my favorite scent. So the other ones, they smell really nice. Um, this one's a little bit more of a perfume scent. Uh, but this one, it smells the best out of all three. Okay, so it says the Diamond Peel Off Mask uh, helps reveal a brighter, softer complexion. Its chrome formula has diamond powder for an even skin tone. Uh, the benefits are to reveal a brighter complexion and easy to use. The key ingredients are the diamond powder. It's supposed to replenish the skin for softer and even skin tone. White water lily extract relieves the skin irritation. The, oh my gosh, I cannot pronounce this you guys Bariska Rapa turnip leaf extract yeah uh, is rich in minerals and a natural brightening ingredient it's supposed to be also without uh, parabens sulfates and phosphates so when I did this one what I noticed with this one is my my skin felt really calm I don't even really know how to describe it other than just the fact that um, I have a lot of redness in my cheeks a lot of discoloration here and it just it kind of calmed down the redness um, I actually don't have as much as I normally would have even right now um, because I have absolutely zero makeup on you guys I actually literally just took a shower my hair is soaking wet because of it but um, yeah the redness kind of calmed down and my skin just felt like I was relaxed I, I don't is that weird to say um, but yeah, it just, it really soothed my skin. This is definitely a really nice treat, especially if you have had like a stressful week at work. I definitely recommend this one because it just, it feels so good and you feel so calm afterwards and it's just really, really nice and relaxing. Uh, they recommend using this twice a week. The purple one is supposed to use two times a week on the whole entire face. Um, because of the fact that my skin was so smooth afterwards, I'm definitely going to keep up with this one and use it twice a week. And then the charcoal one, like I said, it's supposed to be your T-zone. Um, they recommend once a week on this. Uh, now, I, for you guys, I'm actually going to do one now <laughs> and kind of show you what it looks like. I will have to say the biggest plus of these masks, you guys, is they are absolutely 100% pain free. That is a huge plus for me because I tried a peel off mask like years ago and it was horrible. I mean absolutely freaking horrible. It was painful. I couldn't get any of it off. It just stuck to my face so bad. My, my face was so red afterwards. It was not a pleasurable experience and I actually didn't think I was going to ever try a peel off mask ever again. Going into this, I was so worried about that and I was so skeptical, but <laughs> once I did the very first one, I instantly fell in love with how easy it is. Like literally, you apply it, you let it dry, you peel it off. They did such a good job on it. So, uh, I Do Care was actually nice enough to also send me this little cute cat ears headband. Oh, isn't it so cute? You can actually get this at Ulta as well. This is $6. They also sent me uh, the I Do Care like little spatula to help apply the face mask. Now, I do not recommend applying these face masks with your hands. Um, it's going to be a hot mess. So definitely, you know, if you're going to buy one of these, make sure you throw in the spatula. It's six bucks. Not really a big deal. You're going to need something or a tool like it to put your mask on. <laughs> the, and the thing I like about this little um, cat ears headband that they sent me, I have a big head, okay? Like I have a thick, big old head and it fits. <laughs> I don't get to say that about many headbands. Sometimes uh, I get sent little headbands and they're like so freaking small. They're like made for 
a very small skinny person with a small head and that is not me. All right, I'm also going to pull my hair back because I do not want to get my hair in the mask. Um, it's not really a big deal coming out. You can just like wash it with water or rinse it with water and it'll come right out. But because I've already taken a shower, I don't really want to do that. So I don't know which one I want to do. Okay, so since the redness is gone a little bit, I think I'm going to go in with my favorite one. This is one right here. This is the Hydrating Rose Water Peel Off Mask. This definitely has a little bit more of a, a perfumey scent to it, but the after effect of my skin is crazy good. You do want to apply kind of generously. Um, not too thin, not too thick, or it'll take absolutely forever to dry. So this is what this one looks like. Like I said, it looks green in here and it kind of goes on like this purpley green iridescent look. Um, it's fun, it's fun to do. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. It's gonna take about 15 minutes to dry and then we will work on peeling it off. So I'll be back in 15. Okay, so my face mask is dry and we are going to peel this bad boy off. <laughs> this is actually so fun to do because it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to go take a washcloth and wash the rest of this off and I will be right back. All right, so I am back. <clears throat> and once again, after using this mask, oh, I missed one spot. So incredibly smooth. <sighs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Anything that makes my face feel just good just makes me happy. <laughs> All right, so uh, like I said, you can find these at Ulta. They are $23 each. You have the three, you have the Sugar Kitten uh, Hydrating Rose Water Peel Off Mask, the Illuminating Diamond Peel Off Mask, and the Exfoliating Charcoal Peel Off Mask. They are all fantastic. They all have their own um, things that they do, so whatever works best for you. My skin is definitely more on the dry side, um, and I get, like I said, a lot of redness through here. 
And the only reason my skin is red right now is because the uh, the cloth I used was a little rough. So when I took off that little piece right here, it kind of irritated it. <clears throat> but the smoothness, mm, the smoothness feels really nice. And since I have done my mask for the night, I actually need to go ahead and add some moisturizer. All right guys, so that's it for this review. So if you were curious about any of these products, I hope I was able to help you. And if you have dry skin as well, and have never heard or tried these out, but you're looking for some new skincare or new face masks, I definitely, definitely recommend these. So uh, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to I Do Care for sending me these products. Um, it was so much fun testing them out. And yeah, I do have a giveaway going. Um, if you guys want to check that out, that video will be linked down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.